uh, in the previous video we looked at uh, angular acceleration and its magnitude uh, in this video we are trying to understand uh, the direction of angular acceleration so uh, we take up the same situation a body performing uh, uh, uniform circular motion over here and uh, it is performing uniform circular motion in a circle of radius r so this is r and uh, it is at location p1 over here and then it in time t it, it moves along the circle and comes to position p2 so this is position p2 and it turns through angle of theta radians right? the arc length covered is s and uh, in terms of uh, radians it is theta uh, since we are looking at uh, angular acceleration we we will have to look at velocities right okay we'll take um, help of what we discussed in the previous video on magnitude what we said was that the acceleration is omega square r and that is equal to v square upon r this was the magnitude of angular acceleration in this case in this video we are looking at uh, the direction of uh, angular acceleration so we need to get uh, the velocities of uh, the object at location p1 and location p2 let us say uh, the velocity at uh, let me uh, let me use the space let us let us let's say the velocity at p1 is equal to v1 and uh, velocity at p2 is equal to v2 right and of course the magnitudes are same because the body is performing uniform circular motion is equal to say for example v okay so i'll represent these two velocities in terms of vector let us say this uh, magnitude is say 3 meters per second and i use a scale of 1 cm is equal to 1 meters per second so i'll draw a line of 3 cm long right so i'll draw a vector 3 cm long it's tangent at this particular location so i'm drawing a vector 3 cm long and 2 and 3 right so this is vector v1 and at location p2 i again draw a line 3 cm long so this is 2 and 3 so this represents vector v2 so I have drawn the two vectors v1 and v2 I want to find out acceleration so I need to find out the change in velocity right so I am trying to find out uh, v2 minus v1 and if I divide this by time taken for this I will get angular acceleration so if I am, my focus is now to find out v2 minus v1 so again I will use of vectors in this case so I will draw again draw a vector v1 over here right vector v1 is nearly perpendicular so i'll draw a vector v1 over here and the length is three centimeter one two three so this is vector v1 and from this particular point i'll draw vector v2 right so something parallel to this so i have to get a line parallel over here so approximately this is parallel to this let me just check once again right yes so I'll draw a line three centimeter long from here. One, two, and three. So I'm drawing V2. And if I complete this particular triangle, right? If I complete this, I get V2 minus V1. And I can very clearly see over here that V2 minus V1 right is directed towards the center of the circle you can see it is going in so it's directed towards center of the circle so the direction of uh, angular acceleration for a uniform circular uh, motion is directed towards the center of the circle let us confirm that by uh, doing a, a small exercise i already have v1 over here now i'll draw v2 from this particular point so let me draw v2 from this particular point so i draw v2 from this point so i'll draw a line three centimeter long so I get something like this so this is vector v2 so this is vector v2 and if I join these two if I join these two you can see that uh, I can I'm getting a line which is this is v2 minus v1 right and if I extend this 
it goes toward the center of the circle. So this is v2 minus v1. And this clearly shows that the change in velocity, v2 minus v1, is directed towards the center of the circle. Based on this, uh, uh, we get the direction of uh, the angular acceleration. And what we can, uh, right, what we can mention now is angular acceleration of a body performing uniform circular motion is directed towards the center of the circle and it is known as centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration so we have a new term now centripetal acceleration and centripetal acceleration is the acceleration which is directed toward the center of the circle and that is what happens when a body is performing uniform circular motion and hence uh, this is known as centripetal acceleration okay I, I hope you got a fair idea about what centripetal acceleration is it is the acceleration directed towards the center of the circle and uh, one last point uh, before I wind up this video is that we have already obtained the magnitude of acceleration uh, let me write over here as e is equal to omega square r is equal to v square upon r so the centripetal force because of the centripetal acceleration if I write over here f centripetal force right uh, let me denote it by fc is equal to mass into acceleration and since acceleration is v square by r mv square by r so centripetal force centripetal force fc is equal to mv square by r right this is a formula for centripetal force which i'll be using uh, regularly in the videos uh, coming up after this and uh, i can also write fc as for v if i write or if i write v is as omega r whole square upon r because v is omega r i'll get m omega square r square by r and that gives me fc is equal to m omega square r right right so this gives me the mac this gives me the equation for centripetal force right uh, I'll stop over here I hope you have got a fair idea about what uh, centripetal acceleration is and what its direction is right uh, see you in the next video